Marta's cool new camera. Once again, Marta, beautiful work. Where was this one taken? My cousin Juan's birthday party at Mockingbird Creek last weekend. That's a piñata, like the ones we used to have in Mexico. That one had a ton of candy inside. <laughs> I feel like you've really turned it up a lot in the last few weeks. You know, the Tri-County Youth Photography Contest is coming up. Me? You really improved your composition and your color a lot. Just look. Tri-County? That's like three counties. Yeah, and there's a $500 prize. With my new camera, I can take better pictures and win. Sick. Hey, guys. I talked to Miss Ruby at the diner this morning, and I think I have a weekend mystery. Miss Ruby went hiking this weekend, and some of her things went missing. Did someone take them? She doesn't think so. She thinks she left them somewhere, and she wants us to help track them down. Let's see. According to Miss Ruby, she's missing a box of flies. Oh, oh. She's also missing a birding journal and a waterproof bag of photography equipment. Where'd she lose it? I didn't get that far. I say we go visit Miss Ruby after school and get some more information. So there I was, face to face with a disgruntled badger. He was ready to make a meal out of me, but the table wasn't set just yet. Oh, sugar! Ugh. I have been so out of sorts since I lost my bag. It's okay, Miss Ruby. Just start over. I set my things down on the sandbar, and then I walked into the woods. I swore that I heard the call of an ivory-billed woodpecker. <gasps> they think it might not be extinct. <laughs> and then I got myself all turned around. I forgot where I put my things. Tell us more about this box of flies. Couldn't you just catch some more? My grandma traps them in a little cup of sugary water. They're not real flies. They're fishing lures. I make all of my own by hand. What about the birding journal? Oh, that is a journal of every bird that I have ever seen. And you cannot replace that. Anything else? My camera? It was really expensive. I saved a whole year for it. It was in a, a green and blue waterproof bag, and my initials are on the inside. Don't worry, Miss Ruby. Marta knows how important a good camera is. She just got a new one herself. <gasps> We're on the case. We're going to find your things. Thank you. I knew you were the ones for the job. We'll try to find it, but... I mean, some things are just lost. I don't know. I know that you will do your very best. Ah! <sighs> oh, too much sugar. Blech. Find anything yet? Nothing here. Marta, have you found any clues? A little cold for swimming. Hey, we're looking for some lost items. Yeah, you haven't seen a camera or a journal floating around, have you? Afraid not, but if it was lost close to the creek, it might be at the park lost and found. The what? The Park Info Center. You can report or turn in lost objects. They have a whole box of stuff. We'll look there next. Thanks. Right. We're looking for Miss Ruby's things. Miss Ruby Reynolds? I think she's judging the photography contest. Isn't that the contest you wanted to enter? 
This stuff is great. I bet you've taken a lot of cool stuff back home. Please, <laughs> uh, not really. The Lost and Found keeps stuff for three months, and if nobody claims it, then we donate it to someone who can use it. Cool. I think this is a joke book. Hands off my homework, you fuzzy, tufted crest. <laughs> Get out of my way, you purple-footed warbler. <laughs> These jokes are terrible. Let me see that. Mike, I think he found Mrs. Ruby's birding journal. These aren't jokes. These are bird names. Look, property of Ruby Reynolds. If we can find last week's entries, it might lead us back to where she lost the journal. Spotted a gray crane and a yellow-billed cuckoo on the east bank of Mockingbird Creek. That just leads us back to the creek. We already know that the waterproof bag and the fly box aren't there. Well, if it's flies you guys are looking for, you might want to check with the Mockingbird Creek Anglers to see if they found them. The who? The Mockingbird Creek Anglers. They're a club for people who like fly fishing. If you hurry, you might be able to catch them practicing their casting at the city park. Where are their parents? Right here. Hello, I'm Millie Wheeler, and I have a few questions for you. Do you know Miss Ruby Reynolds? Know her? You know, Miss Ruby is one of the finest anglers in Arkansas. Nobody fishes like Miss Ruby. She lost her box of flies at Mockingbird Creek last Saturday. We're looking for it, but we don't know what we're looking for. Well, you know, Miss Ruby, she's been tying her own flies by hand for years. She's an artist. I found these down by the sandbar last Monday. Knew right away they were Miss Ruby's. I was gonna give them back myself, but as you're already on the case. Why didn't you take some for your collection? Oh no. Tying flies by hand is tough work, and nobody's better than Miss Ruby. Can you imagine having to retie a lifetime of flies? I wouldn't do that to her. I'm happy to give them back. You guys might have to work on trying to find Miss Ruby's camera on your own. I have to head to the diner. Yeah, I'm supposed to be at my mom at the library. We were supposed to take those things back to Miss Ruby tomorrow. Such a bummer that we couldn't find that waterproof bag. Hey, uh, can I have the journal? I just want to see if there are any extra clues. Thanks. seen your Uncle Hector or, or Titi Maria in 10 years. Has it been that long? What if you found the money for a plane ticket in an envelope on the sidewalk? And you would use it to visit family, right? Well, plane tickets are expensive. Someone would miss that money. I would ask myself, do I need the tickets or just want them? But you need to see the family. I want to see the family sometime soon, but it's not a need. Needs are things like food and water and, and shelter over your head. I might also consider the upsides and the downsides of keeping it. So if I think of more upsides, then I can keep the, I mean, you would keep the thing you found. Maybe, but I would think hard about how your decision is affecting other people. Some decisions are hard, Miha. We have to think them through. Listen to our God and do what's right. It's our responsibility as good neighbors. There's a photography contest. If I win, we could buy those plane tickets. 
That would be wonderful. I'm sure you'll do a phenomenal job. going to affect other people. We found your journal and your flies, but not your camera. That's okay. I knew the camera would be tough. I'm glad Marta has my journal. Thank you all so much for spending your weekend looking for my things. <gasps> oh, thank you. Oh, yep, that's the one. Marta, you found Miss Ruby's camera. That's not Miss Ruby's camera. That's Marta's new camera. It's Miss Ruby's. I found it last weekend was such a nice camera. I wanted to keep it. I know now it was wrong. That the camera was just something I really wanted, not something I needed. I'm sorry, Miss Ruby. I should have brought the camera to the park lost and found when I found it. Thank you for telling me the truth. I know that was hard. Now, have I ever told you about the time that I came face to face with a disgruntled badger? You already know about that story. Ah, you guys know all my best stories. Now I guess we need a new one. You know, it really was a tough competition this year. Did you take this one with your camera? You have a really good eye. I'm so sorry I kept your camera. You know, I've been thinking about how you can make that up to me. And I have some photos due next week. And I desperately need an assistant. And you know, maybe while you put in the work, if you learn some tips and tricks, then next year you might win this thing. Really? Yes. I think you could do it. What do you say? You gonna help me out? Okay. First thing we need to do is. Detective always looks for symbols as clues. They know symbols represent a deeper meaning. Just like our nation symbols, Arkansas has symbols too. Our flag has many stars in the colors red, white, and blue. Our state is filled with many symbols. What do they mean? From rocks to songs to vegetables and all things in between. But out of all the things to drink, we chose milk to be the one. It's healthy and it helps our dairy production. Now out of all the gems in the world, Arkansas chose the best gemstone when it comes to states that produce diamonds we stand alone out of all the fowl flying in the air we chose the mockingbird a pretty little bird that can sing many songs while
never speaking a word. Out of all the trees, we chose the pine in 1939. A native tree with four species, all beautifully divine. Well, just like a nation, symbols. Arkansas has symbols too. Our flag has many stars and the colors red, white, and blue. Our state is filled with many symbols. What do they mean? From rocks to songs to vegetables and all things in between. Trip fiasco. And so each star you see on the American flag stands for one of the 50 states, including Arkansas, which became a state on June 15, 1836. And the rest is history. <laughs> Would you put those things in your bag? Why'd you take so many? I have to get them in order. All right. Let's thank the museum for inviting us to their Arkansas history exhibition today. <laughs> All right. So we still have about 10 minutes before we have to get on the bus. Um, so what was everyone's favorite part of the museum today? The snacks, food, the gift shop. OK, so did anyone learn anything today? Tribe. That's right. Arkansas comes from a Quapaw word. <laughs> yeah. When did they start letting kids in Arkansas? Well, kids have always been here. Quiet, Terrell. There aren't any kids on the walls. No kids in the video. Oh, my goodness. Well, now that's actually a really good question, Terrell. In fact, why don't we all play a game these last 10 minutes, huh? A game about symbols. Symbols? What's that? It's an image or an object that stands for something. Like how two fingers making a V means peace. Like the stars of the flag of the United States of America. Each star is a symbol of a state in our country. <laughs> exactly. See, actions or even people can be a symbol. There are tons of Arkansas stories being told out there in that exhibit. I want each pair of you to go around and find a story that you really relate to and identify the symbol that represents that story. The pair that brings me the most interesting Arkansas symbol will get to choose the radio station on the drive home. Ooh. Ooh is right. Now get out there and find me something juicy. I'm gonna go first. So, we're looking for a flag? Is that what Mr. Davis said? No, we're looking for an Arkansas story we relate to and a symbol that represents that story. Look, it's our state bird, the Northern Mockingbird. I guess that makes it a symbol of Arkansas. How can one bird stand for all of Arkansas? Do all states have state birds? I think so. There's even a bird to represent the whole country, and that's the bald eagle. Let's see. It says here Arkansas picked the mockingbird because it helps farmers and it has many beautiful songs. Come on. I think I know of a great story we can use. Caraway. 
She's one of the two U.S. Senators representing the state of Arkansas. She's the only lady here. Heidi's husband died, so she was invited to take his seat. He died? That's sad. It was. But next year, when Arkansans are voting on their senators, Hattie will get reelected all on her own. No woman ever did that before her. She was only the second woman to ever sit in this room. That must have been scary. It's always scary to be the first to do anything. But Hattie was determined to use her opportunity to make Arkansas a better place. That's good. I'm glad she was elected. Yeah. This portrait is a great symbol of how Hattie Carraway's courage helped pave the way for many more women to become elected leaders. Mr. Davis would love the story of Hattie Carraway. I like it, but what else can we find? Y'all find anything yet? I helped Marta learn about Hattie Carraway. I doubt you helped her. I'm sure Marta already knew that. Uh, Trudy and I got our story. Yeah. Now we're headed to the gift shop. I'm gonna put one of those coins in the crushing machine. Museum. None of these pictures look old. Not all history is old, Terrell. Historic events are happening around us all the time. We need something more fun. Maybe something more recent. Hey, come look at this. This is the Charlotte Coliseum in North Carolina. We're supposed to be looking for Arkansas stories, Marta. Well, all these guys in the white and red jerseys are the Arkansas Razorbacks from the University of Arkansas. And something big is about to happen. You see, it's April 4th, 1994. This is the NCAA championship game, the biggest game in college basketball. And we were invited? We weren't just invited. You see that man in the suit? That's Coach Nolan Richardson. He's in the Basketball Hall of Fame. And that guy, number 34, that's Corliss Williamson. He's gonna play in the NBA next year. Whoa. I know. And that guy, number 30, that's Scotty Thurman. Now watch this. One on the shot clock, Thurman beat it. Oh, yes! he got it, three pointer. The swish heard around Arkansas. We just won the national championship. Yay! No one thought we would win, Terrell. We were just a little school from Arkansas. But we did it. Arkansas is in hog heaven. They won the first ever national championship. Have you found your store yet? We're headed to the lobby. How about us working with Terrell? What? No, it, it's fine. We're still deciding. Come on, Kevin. Didn't you hear me, Terrell? The 94 Razorbacks are a great Arkansas story. Do you see that game-winning ball over there? When people from Arkansas see that, they see a symbol of determination and persistence. It's really very inspiring. What's wrong? We found two great stories about Arkansas history. I guess. But I'm not anything like those people. I'm not as brave as Hattie Caraway. And sometimes I give up too easily. Not like the Razorbacks. But think about what you are good at. You're a good brother to Mike. And you were a good listener when Mr. Davis was talking. Yeah, I guess. But they don't have any stories about good listeners. Do they have this here? I think so. Why? 
alligator guy is a huge fish that has swimming like in size. White and red rivers for over 215 million years. So in 2019, Henry Foster, an 11-year-old boy from right here in Arkansas, wrote a report on the alligator gar and sent it to the governor, asking him to make it the official state fish. The governor loved Henry's report so much, he declared the gar the state fish of Arkansas. <laughs> symbol for the power we all have to make change in the communities where we live. Oh, that's a great story, Terrell. What? That story is about a school report on a smelly fish. Nuh-uh. It's a story about a kid not that different than I am who made a difference in Arkansas history. If Henry Foster can do it, maybe I can too. And that fish was around when the dinosaurs were alive. That makes it a pretty interesting symbol for Arkansas, too. Right, Mr. Davis? Absolutely. Great job, Terrell and Marta! <laughs> that is indeed a most interesting symbol. So, what are we listening to on the drive back? Terrell? I can't believe you're gonna let Terrell pick the music after having to spend all day with him. It wasn't so bad. He earned it. Jordan, pick a gap! Stop. 